Hello everyone, this is Mike, welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. In this video I will show you how to root your Galaxy S10 device with Magisk. Here I have Samsung Galaxy S10e, the Exynos powered Galaxy S10e. Snapdragon is definitely out of the question for now. This method only works for the Exynos powered Galaxy S10, S10e. S10 Plus and A50 devices. So basically right now the procedure has changed quite a lot. It is considerably more difficult to install roots and well to install additional mods to it. I'll try to make this guide as concise and as simple as possible. So just try and follow all the steps. Do not skip any steps. This might bring boot loops or might even brick the device. You might be able to recover from any boot loop, but still, you should be aware of the risks. The first step is to enable OEM unlock and to unlock the bootloader. So to do that, we just need to enable developer mode. We have developer options here. Just tick OEM unlocking and turn on. I'll also tick USB debugging. After this is done, you should power off the device and boot in download mode. All of this needs to be done while the phone is connected to the PC. So to boot into download mode, as always, volume down, big speed and power. So let's do the combo right now. Now we have download mode. You can see right here that you can long press the volume up key in order to go to device unlock mode. So let's do this right now. Boom. And now it's written, you will be able to install custom operating systems on the phone and then uh, yeah, that the phone might stop working properly, yada yada, you don't really need to believe anything from here, so yeah, you can simply skip to the below menu and if you click volume up, the bootloader will be unlocked and the device will be resetted, so make sure you make a backup of your data before this step otherwise you might lose everything. So let's press volume up. Right now the device boots up. You have this menu because the bootloader is unlocked. This menu will appear all the time from now on. It's very similar to what happened for the Pixel devices. This was well basically forever for Pixel devices. Once you had a custom ROM installed, now the device will erase, as I told you, the factory data resets will be done automatically and the device will boot up. Now that the phone has booted up, we can simply go forward with the setup wizard. Okay, it's very important to connect to a wireless network right now. So just connect to one of them. You can skip all other steps. You don't really need to go with the other options or go forward with uh, any app installs you will eventually reset the device a couple more times before you you're done with it so <laughs> yeah you shouldn't really set up anything other than the internet connection once you've gone through the setup wizard now you need to make sure that OEM unlocking is grayed out of course you get here by enabling developer options just like I showed you before so only go through with the next steps if this option is grayed out, otherwise you might get into big trouble. Once that's done and OEM unlocking is grayed out, you're free to go and follow the next steps. So download the firmware for your device and this is very easily done via Samfirm. I will show you right now. This is the Samfirm software. You just type in the model that you have. I have the S10e, so G970F and the region just make sure you use your own region you can very easily find it via the phone info app and then go and click check update then download download this archive somewhere on your hard drive and then unzip everything so it will look like here so you'll have these files after that's done you will need to copy this ap file onto your device so just copy it from here and paste it onto your device along with the latest Magisk from the Canary channel. I will link that in the 
description below. Once that's done, you will need to install the Magisks manager that you just copied. So I'm going to my files. Uh, where did I place it? So here, download. Yeah, a pretty APK. Okay, install. Once this is installed, just go to open. Of course, Magisk will not be installed. It's not installed as of now. Just boost the brightness a bit more. Yeah. So now you need to go to install, install, select and patch a file, allow. Now go into your internal storage and select the AP file that you just downloaded. Now Magisk Manager will patch the whole firmware file and then store the output somewhere on the internal storage in the downloads folder. I think it's almost done. Yep. As you can see, output is placed in the internal storage download folder. So now I have the Magisk patched tar file that I need to copy back onto my PC and install via Odin. This is the normal procedure, but I will show it to you anyways. As you can see, things have become really difficult and, well, everything is basically a workaround. I wouldn't suggest using the Gates method, so with the patched TWRP, this one by John uses the stock recovery, which is a much better and much simpler solution. I wouldn't recommend the other one. I tried using it and I went into an infinite boot loop. It's really difficult, really unstable and you don't really get the expected results. Now that we've copied the file, we are ready to flash that new Terra file with Odin. So let's just boot up into download mode, the usual combination, volume down, big speed and power. Now that we've booted up into download mode, we can simply click volume up and then we can flash this new AP file via Odin. Of course, I've opened this latest version of Odin via admin rights so this is really important as well now select the patched magisk file which is right here for me put it into the ap slot very important step right now is to go into options and disable other reboot so this is really really important and now you can simply click start and wait for the process to complete now Magisk has been successfully flashed to the device and a few other steps need to be performed in order to boot the device with Magisk. The first thing we need to do is to restart the device into stock recovery and factory reset it. You should not skip this step, a full wipe is mandatory. I'll talk you through the procedure and then we'll go forward with it. So to restart it you'll need to press the volume down and the power key immediately after the screen has turned off press the usual recovery key combination so volume up big speed and power keep it pressed until the bootloader warning comes up and then release all the buttons except the volume up which you need to keep pressed until the stock recovery pops up so now that i've talked you through it i can do it and show you exactly so just restart it start with power key and volume down but be ready on the big speed as well yay i'm in stock recovery once you've done this, you can navigate with the volume keys just like before and go to wipe data, factory reset, type in yes and wipe everything. After the data is wiped, there's another catch. So after clicking reboot system now, you need to press the key combo once again. So yeah, um, after you click the power button, in order to reboot the device, you'll need to press the recovery key combo again. So volume up, Bixby and power, but only until you see the bootloader warning screen, then you can release all buttons. So be ready with the combo. 
press the combo keep it pressed until yeah that's it and now we should run the system with magisk the first time the device restarted which is completely normal and it's supposed to do this of course you can see the warning screen which is quite unusual haven't really seen it on any other samsung device so far no matter what custom roms i've installed on it the factory reset will take a while just like it does normally I don't want to get the terms. Yeah, so just go through the setup like you normally would. Connect to a wireless network. This is really important. Now we should see Magis Manager in the app drawer. If we do not, we can simply install the APK that we downloaded manually previously. I have it on an external SD card because I wasn't sure if it would work, so As you can see, Magisk is now installed. It requires some additional setup. And yes, you need to go through with this. There are some specific scripts which have been done for this device. It will automatically be boot afterwards. So do not worry, everything is normal. Now just let it be, do not touch anything. It knows how to reboot the correct way. A few words of warning, you cannot really flash anything in custom recovery because this let's say tweak uses a stock recovery it will probably be added in the future be very careful when trying to restore to stock the only way to do it is by fully flashing everything via odin so all the packages bootloader ap cp and csc and of course if you want to upgrade the device to a newer version never flash the stock aptar file you should always pre-patch the file before flashing with odin if you want to restore the device to stock you should factory reset first and then restore everything with odin by using the stock files let's see what magisk says right now yep it seems like it's here let's just check if we have root access of course, I'll just try and check if I have root access by installing titanium backup. And yay, looks like everything is okay. This was basically it. Just be careful when doing it. It's not that complicated, but you still need to be careful when doing it. Just be aware of the fact that you can now restart in three ways. So if you turn off the device and turn it on only via the power key, you will have the system without magisk. If you try to turn on the device by pressing the stock recovery combo, and if you keep it pressed, it will go into stock recovery straight away. And if you want to boot the right way into the system with magisk, you will need to boot up with the recovery combo, but release everything just after the bootloader warning so this is the way it works for now hopefully i'll have a better and well safer method for you in the following weeks thank you so much john for creating this method this will definitely work on the s10 range so the s10e s10 and s10 plus along with the a50 device that samsung has just launched not sure why i just turned off but yeah Everything seems to be just fine. Let's see if the safety net check passes through. It should, yeah, and it does. It's quite an amazing feat. John has done an amazing job with this one. It's probably one of the few methods that work flawlessly and that do not have any problems afterwards. So thank you so much, John, for it. This was about it. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I'll try to help you as much as I can. For any updates on this matter, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It will be displayed right here in the bottom left part, the logo. If you like this video and you consider it helpful, just press the like button. It would help me very much. Yeah, that was about it for today. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. Thanks a lot, John, once again. And yeah, this was Mike the Tech Savvy. I wish you a great day. Bye.